of fires burning. Combined 51 acres just feet apart in North San Luis Obispo today, forcing smoke into the city. At last word, the reservoir fire is 90% contained. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore was at the blaze and spoke with those on campus about its impacts. Asia. Well, that's right. Smoke choked out many of us early this morning. As fire crews worked to put out the blaze, the utility company worked to restore power to the thousands of Cal Poly students left in the dark. Two separate fires, as you can see behind me, we do have two separate fires. Twin blazes broke out Saturday morning in Cuesta Park, smack dab between Highway 101 and Cal Poly campus. The nearest home is probably uh, within a thousand feet or so of the fire. While we do have homes in the area, we didn't evacuate anything because we have this good defensible space around the homes, the dirt roads and the, and the fields and that kind of stuff. High winds, typically an ingredient for fire disaster, actually lent crews a hand. Normally wind is a bad thing in a wildfire situation, and this one, because of the way it started, the location that it started in, the wind coming down canyon here off the range is actually benefiting us. It's slowing the progress of the fire, uh, so it's kind of back burning on itself. But as a result, smoke pumped into San Luis Obispo. I woke up and I walked outside. I thought I smelled something. I felt like the neighbors were barbecuing or something. I wasn't really sure. I was like, whatever. I didn't really notice it until I, when I was like in the gym, I got a text on my phone saying they contained the fire. And I was like, oh. Ogle got to the gym to find it without power. A side effect, Cal Poly tweeted, of the nearby reservoir fire. The things that let you when you put your code in, they were out, so I just like signed it on a piece of paper, lifted weights and left. But PG&E says the cause of the power outage on campus remains under investigation. Week of welcome events continued without much interruption, giving new students both a welcome to school and the Central Coast fire season. Cal Fire's Chris Elms tells me this is the first time Cal Fire has had its full team here on the Central Coast after sending crews up to the Northern Fires and the Southern Fires here in California. Because of that complete team, they were able to get a quick response and put the fire out. In the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSPY News. Thank you, Asia. And throughout the course of the investigation, Cal Fire says it found a down power line. It's not clear whether the fire caused the line to fall or if the down line sparked that blaze. No injuries were reported.